Well, hi there again from uh, Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Uh, probably our last day here that I'll do a ride. I'm gonna get the last trail that comes out of Fond du Lac, the Wild Goose Trail. It's, uh, I think it's about 34 miles end to end. Goes quite a ways, I'm not gonna go that far. Probably go about 10 or 12 miles down and back. Julie and I have done that before, and it's a really nice trail. It's crushed rock. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. There's a lot of wind, if you can tell from the uh, noise, hopefully not. But uh, it's probably blowing a good 20 miles an hour or so. But it's hot and humid. Hopefully I'll make it and this will be a video. If not, I guess uh, you won't see it. <laughs> the Wild Goose Trail is a rails to trail that's on the old Chicago and Northwestern Railroad Corridor that heads south out of Fond du Lac. Somehow my camera got into slow motion mode and I did all the video after my introduction in slow motion. But I was able to increase the speed by 800% and it looks pretty good. I did some uh, stabilization in the DaVinci software that I use for photo editing and I think it works pretty well. First three or four miles of the trail is through agricultural land and wetlands. There's a nice tunnel under US Highway 151, a four lane highway that you saw earlier. Six miles into the ride, you come to the little town of Oakfield. The nice thing about Oakfield, it does have a convenience store and a gas station that I had to stop at on the way back to get some water as I misplanned my trip. Just be forewarned, that is the only place you can get water or other supplies along the trail, at least the section I did. Just about eight miles into your trip, you will go over County Road D, which is probably the only busy road that you'll cross on the whole trip that I did. This is as far as Julie and I had gone on our previous ride of this trail. It's made it about a 15 mile round trip for us. I turned around shortly after this video, about 12 miles into my trip, and decided that was enough. It was getting hot and humid. I needed to get back and be with everybody. So this was a nice turnaround point. I didn't quite make my destination that I was thinking of the wetlands area that's just a few miles past this. After getting some much needed water in Oakfield at the convenience store, I continued down the trail. This section of trail 
when Julie and I wrote it was in very bad shape, basically a single track barely that was all washed out. I'm glad to see that they had repaired it. In this field on the left on my way out, I'd seen a family of sandhill cranes. Unfortunately, I didn't have my zoom camera with me. Luckily on my way back, the wind was at my back and it was downhill, a nice ride. Unfortunately when my camera is going in slow-mo there's no audio, so I'll just wrap it up here. It was a nice ride, enjoyed it. It's very remote, you're away from the road so it's very quiet, tree covered, shady, with some nice views. So if you're ever in the Fond du Lac area, Try out the Wild Goose Trail, highly recommend it. You can go about, uh, I think it's about 30 miles each way, so it's a long trail that you can enjoy. My ride was a little over 24 miles. It's very flat, so very enjoyable, very easy. Uphill on the way there and downhill on the way back, perfect. The town of Oak Center is not much of a town at all, it's just a crossroad. So the only place you can get food, at least on the section I did, or drink, is in Oakfield. As always, thank you for watching our video. Like it if you liked it. Please comment and subscribe below. We'd love to have you subscribe and come along with us on our other adventures.